Hey there, what's going on? It's Lisa here, Raw Food for Kids. Hope you're having a super awesome day. I'm uh, putting together lunch for later. I'm going to be making a apple beet orange cabbage salad. Alright? Um, a combination goes perfect together. I'd actually make a really nice uh, juice combination. I made apple orange juice uh, the other day, but apple orange and beet would be killer as well. So check this out. It's going to be a real simple salad. It's going to be hearty. It's totally in season and easy to put together. Uh, I'm going to use the cabbage as my lettuce. And uh, I like cabbage because it's crisp, it's crunchy, um, you know, it's a bit heartier. So uh, it's just something to change it up a bit. So I've got a half of a, a green cabbage here that I just kind of, you know, just I use chopped it by hand. doesn't take very long. You use the food processor. Just kind of like, not shaved, like super, super thin, but, um, you know, good bite-sized pieces. So, I got that in a bowl. And then to that, I'm going to add um, some beets, apples, and oranges. So, let me show you uh, the beets, actually. You can leave them raw if you want. Um, I would, if, I, I actually roasted mine. Um, with the winter months, Jen and I are going to do like a little bit of cooked vegetables. Um, I like roasting vegetables personally more than steaming I just think it really brings out the nice um, intense flavor of the vegetable and um, so if you wanted to keep it raw you could uh, just take some beets and finely grate them you don't want to eat big chunks of raw beets like this and if you ate this as much uh, cooked as you did raw you would be sick <laughs> because they're really potent stuff but anyways to roast these all I did was I cut them in like little um, pieces, you know, it will shrink up for sure, and I set the oven like at 400 degrees, and I, um, I didn't even toss it in any oil, I'm not, not really doing the oil thing anymore, uh, I just sprinkled with a little bit of uh, salt and a little bit of pepper, and I put it at 350, line your tray with tin foil, and it takes about um, 30 to 45 minutes, depending on how you cut your beets, and about every 20 minutes I uh, check on it, just kind of flip them over, and um, they won't stick even without the oil, and it'll just kind of shrink up and just all that flavor gets in there. So I cooked my beets. And then um, for the orange, so I'm going to put that in the salad. For the orange, I'm going to do, um, I just peel the orange. Now when you eat the orange, you want to remove all the white pith. You don't have to, but it's a little bitter. When you juice it, keep it on. I'm doing like they call this supreming an orange just to get the nice pretty little segments. You see that? See how pretty that is? It looks nice for presentation, and when you eat it, you don't have all the little, um, this is what's left after you segment it, you see? But I'm saving this, because I'm going to juice it when I make my next fruit juice. And we're saving scraps here. Here's my cabbage scraps. You see that? The core. This is all the hard parts of the, the cabbage that, you'll know what I'm talking about when you cut it. These look kind of real hard pieces. Look at all this cabbage. That's just from a half of cabbage. I'm gonna when I make my green juice, I'm juicing this baby. Orange, juicing it. I'll show them I have scraps from the, the apple too. You save all your scraps, that's what I'm talking about. If you make a juice a day, get in the habit of it, you will have a juice for free. You can juice for free and you get the the most bang for your buck and you know, you're eating a lot of times the healthiest, most nutritious part of it. So all I'm doing here is I'm working through, you'll see like little See the little slits in between for each little segment? All you do is you take your knife and you just go right um, between each little um, pith part or whatever this is, you see? Just go in between with the knife. And the dressing here is um, apple orange juice. The juice I made two days ago, um, or the other day, I can't even remember, so delicious. I juiced two apples and one orange. I used green apples because that's what I have. I used red. Um, so two apples to one orange makes about a cup of juice. It's the most delicious juice. That's my dressing. Come on people. This is this is good eats here. Simple, fresh, you cannot go wrong. In season, beautiful salad. It's going to be so tasty. Oh, it's stuck in there. Alright. Quick and easy. So let me get my little orange in there. And I could just squeeze the juice in here, but since I have apple orange juice already, I'm just going to save this with my apple scraps. And when I make an apple orange juice tomorrow, I'm going to throw it in there. So the apple I just cut in half, 
lay it flat, cut that in half, and then to get the core out, I just go like this. Because I don't particularly want to eat this core, but uh, I'll juice it. So, there we go. I just want to mention all these things, because I just think we all need to be reminded. And I think people make a lot of excuses for not wanting to do something. It's too, too much work, it's too expensive, it's too whatever it is. It's not, people. It's not. You can you can get expensive with things, or you can keep things really affordable, have what's in season, and um, and if you're eating healthy, making the salad, just uh, like I said, you can really make a juice just from the scraps. So I've got an apple here. Actually, I think um, I'll cut it in half just so it. Probably could use two, these are small little apples. It's so whatever you want, there's no right or wrong way. Probably even put pears in here, would be good. Or green and red, so I'm just putting that in there. I'm gonna put my orange segments in there. I'm gonna throw my beets in there. Now the beets will kind of color things. They won't color as bad because they're roasted, so you kind of sucked out some of the, the moisture there. Will start to color, but it'll turn in a nice, pretty color. Then um, the dressing you could just do as is um, the apple um, orange juice, and I would recommend letting this sit for like an hour, like you're making slaw, to let everything kind of absorb all the flavors, to really kind of tenderize the cabbage a little bit, soften it up a bit. Um, so I'm I'm gonna make this now, and I'm probably gonna eat it like in an hour. I'm just gonna let it sit room temp. Um, I was thinking I was gonna add. You don't have to. But um, I kind of like a little sweeter. This is sweet, but um, I thought I'd put in a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Again, you don't have to. You could just do this right here. But I'm just going to put in, like, I don't know, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And um, Jen likes a real sweet dressing, so uh, my raw honey is really thick the one I bought. So I'm just going to put in a little bit of agave. You totally don't have to, but just uh, just taste that's it. Let's have a little taste action. <laughs> How could that be bad, right? So just pour this on. And if you have extra juice or something, you know, at the bottom of your bowl, drink it. <laughs> it's good stuff here. So uh, just mix this all together. All right, get it all coated. And again, you can put as much apples, oranges, pears would probably be good in here. You can put raw beets or do the cooked. If you're transitioning, a really good thing to do is to roast up a bunch of vegetables because they really give nice flavor. They taste delicious. And you could put that in on your salad, roasted vegetables. Um, you know, make a wrap and put roasted vegetables in it. And it just get used to having vegetables. Because... We're not, not everybody's at the same level here, so you're just starting it out and you just want to try to be healthy. Just do little things like that, just, just flavorful things. And then you'll get used to eating vegetables. You can get used to eating things more cold, more cold food without cooking it. Alright, so that's the uh, apple beet orange salad over cabbage with a uh, fresh apple orange vinaigrette. And, uh, let's see, I know this is good, but like I said, you could eat it just like this, kind of crunchy, um, but I would, uh, let's see if I can get a little bit of everything here, I would totally let this sit a little bit longer, and, uh, just let, again, let all the flavors kind of marinate together. Mmm. That's really good. I don't think I need to tell you how good it is. Mmm. That's really nice. That's a really good salad. Perfect for fall and winter. Filling. Hydrating. This will make you feel really good, guys. Happy foods. Mmm. Save your scraps. Hell, you could juice this right now and probably make an 8-ounce juice just from the scraps. So, anyways, that's my little tidbit for today. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to these videos if you haven't. 
I always appreciate any thumbs up if you like the videos and um, any comments, stuff like that. Love to hear from you. There's also a link down below. Uh, find the Facebook page. Go like that page. Post some pictures and just random stuff. Um, also, uh, if you go to the website, there's a link down below too. You can, um, there's a button on there too. You can subscribe to it. So if you're not always on YouTube, uh, that'll get sent to uh, your email. You'll be notified when there's a uh, a uh, new video or a post or something like that. Or I guess you could do that through YouTube too. But anyways, remember to always eat happy foods and um, drink happy foods. Be happy. And I'll talk to you real soon. Take care.